Hey, Tim Alden here. Another little demo video here. Just want to give you a little instruction on how to carve out our leaf stencils. This is our size one. We also have size zero and a size two. Um, so this is kind of our mid-range size. This is the size that I would use most regular. And so wanted to just kind of give you a little instruction on how to carve these. I already went out head and traced everything on from our stencils and cut all these with swivel knife. So we're just going to start off with our beveling and on this oak leaf here, I'm just going to take this lifter and just kind of get these tighter radiuses started, make it easier to come back and uh, bevel these out. more light there <clears throat> so I'll use my number one beveler Barry King check beveler We're going to jump up to our number two Barry King check beveler. Okay, so now we've got all of our beveling done here. I'm going to come back and I'm going to line this. You can use a leaf liner. I just use a number two vertical line thumbprint to line my leaves. You just think about the angle that, you know, stuff is going to come off of that flower or the leaf stem. Uh, you want a pretty steep angle. If you're real square, it just doesn't look right. Want those lines radiating forward and I just like having the uh, less tools in the tool roll so it makes it faster when you're picking stuff up and you can use stuff for multiple things but then I can dictate the angle that I want that's one thing that I don't like about the uh, 
leaf liner is it's a set angle on the inside of the curves. Sometimes it just kind of binds up and uh, I like to be able to kind of change that angle as something rolls around. So we got our stem lined. We're going to come with our scalloped and lined veiner here. And it's number one. And I'm going to go the opposite direction of the curve. And you could do the you know same direction of the curve. You could have it kind of coming around like that. There's a million different ways that you could carve this out but i'm just going to go opposing curve in that same angle tipped forward and then i'm going to come right across from it on the other side each one Some of those and then you could do whatever kind of thumbprint you want for shading on these leaves on the outside of the petals I'm just going to use a roughed up one you could use a horizontal line thumbprint you could use um, vertical line thumbprint really kind of whatever texture and look you're going for um, it's all fair game So basically, anywhere there's kind of a, you know, a scallop here, you can kind of shade around. And then I'm just going to come back and uh, kind of soften these, you know, transitions from one to the other. Going to kind of roll around. That little pocket a little bit deeper on those little bumps roll around kind of soften that transition there so you can kind of see how I hit those outside of those curves and then again I'm going to come back just kind of soften that just uh, and you could just you know hit them and move on. There's a lot of people that do that, but I'm just going to try to sculpt that a little bit, get a little more shading. Shade around that. Alrighty. So we can do some deco cuts here now. And, I mean, you could leave it just like that. But I'll throw, you know... couple uh, cuts in here just kind of give it a little bit of life to it well thanks for stopping by hope you like these videos if you have any questions reach out to us 
You can find these stencils and more at aldenleathersupply.com. Thanks for stopping by.